Kinston and Reedsville, and these are two ACC commits going to Tobacco Road rivals. And outside of them, you have the Jeremy Dixon factor on Kinston. It's really a scrappy bunch on either side, and there's different styles, but it really is going to come down to who takes care of business among the superstars in that game, who gets in foul trouble, like Simmons, excuse me, said. So it's kind of, I look at that game as a potential toss up. It would be at Reedsville, which I think that's what I missed. Why are we not at both of these games? Yo, what's good with the committee, bro? <laughs> they We're gonna killed have to split him, up. Bro. We're going to have to split up. I, I split up, bro. I'm, I'll probably be at Reedsville, Kinsey, and y'all probably be at Farmville, South Granville. Yo, this is crazy, dog. Th- these are two games that deserve all three of us. Whoa, what are they doing? Yeah. What the hell are y'all doing? <laughs> But no, hey, we don't make the schedule. We don't make the rules. We just have to uh, go by what they give us. But so looking at Reedsville, Kinston, Simmons, we talked a little bit about this before we started recording. W- what's the X factor there? What's it going to take for either one of those teams to take care of business in a game like that? I mean, it's it's tough because it's like, okay, Reedsville, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they, they, they go as Brian goes, but that's a, t- that's a tight-knit group. You know what I'm saying? They really ride together. But that is an extremely small team. Mm-hmm. Like, extremely small team. You know what I'm saying? Kinston's front, Kinston has a huge front line. You know what I'm saying? And like, the games that's got Kinston in trouble were games where they couldn't kind of play bully ball. Like, Trez is in shape now. Like, he's 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 back. And that's, like, that's a tough check because it's like, who, like, I think Reason will have to play them zone. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if they can play them man to man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, in a game like that, like the emotions are like their emotions are gonna be so high at home through the roof that the physicality is gonna be different. And I think, man, you know, Kinston has a couple more role players to that dude than they do in this situation. And it's not, it's not a diss to reason. I just think that the size and then just the pedigree of Kinston basketball could help them in the get in, in the end, man. But I mean, once again, it's on the road. This is where, like, the six man for Reesville would be the home court environment. But you don't have it, mm-hmm. right? You don't have it, so it's not gonna be rockets in there. Well, no matter what, when you go to jump the jump ball, it's Breon and it's it's, it's Big Raw. Okay, it's Big Raw. All right, okay, you down there six seven, boy. It's game time. It's like that's a different animal, dog. Like. Sure is different. Yeah, Rod. What kind of piggybacking off that? Is it? It's gonna have to be. Do you think it's a, a game where the two stars decide, or it's a game where everybody else decides it? Um, I mean, obviously the stars are going. They're going. They're going to be stars, but neither team has nobody to stop the, the other star. So mm-hmm. they're getting thirty. They're getting, <laughs> they're getting thirty each. So, but I'll say this: it is coming down to the role players. What we saw with Jeremy Dixon, doesn't like it's North and North. He got in foul trouble. Yeah, silly fouls too. Then he got a tick. He cannot do that. Like he I cannot forgot about that, Rod. You're making can, a very valid point yes, right now. Yes, because if, if North and North had somebody else to go along with our, our boy uh, Zach Efron, huh? They might be getting kissed in the game. You know what I mean? But Jeremy, Jeremy has to understand how valuable he is in this team. Like Jeremy is a, a 17 to 20 point night guy. And in 2A, when the, in that division, in that classification, that is elite. That's something that Kits and needs to advance. So that's why a lot of people are looking at Kits and like, yo, they might can make a little run here because because of a guy like Jeremy Dixon. So, but to me, he's the X factor. Yeah. Um, no, I, I agree. I think Dixon is gonna have a chance to play a huge part because as the second fiddle at, at Kinston, he's better than any second fiddle that would be at Reedsville. Um because he's a shooter with size and, and Reedsville doesn't have they have some shooters but they don't have any and he can size. he got some wiggle off that yeah, that's that's the difference boss is like that's the difference like he may have a little more wiggle than Trez Trez joined yes. straight line like Jeremy yeah. coming down he came down off the rip the other night one dribble between big heads my man hands high put him in the air and said, yeah. <laughs> it's at like, the 10 like he catches yeah. one of the big football brothers who Reedsville one of those <laughs> it's spicy out here 